Now, I'm going to start at the very beginning here. Um, you were asked by Ms. Vasquez about why Mr. Depp won't or can't look you in the eye. And she read out, or she played a tape in which Mr. Depp said, you will not see my eyes again. Do you recall that? I do. As much as we've loved seeing Amber and Johnny every day on trial, we have to admit that their lawyers were just as entertaining to watch. They're the ones who make or break the case, and many people think that Amber's lawyers weren't doing that great of a job. Maybe they were all secretly Team Johnny after all. But how many times have Amber's own lawyers really failed her during this trial? Continue watching to find out. It feels like this trial has been going on for ages, and now that it's coming to an end, we're sad that we don't get to see Johnny's face every day anymore. Honestly, we've all been so invested in this whole thing, it felt like we're part of the trial with them. This trial all started because of the op-ed Amber wrote back in 2018 for the Washington Post, around two years after her divorce with Johnny. In the op-ed, Amber opened up about her experience as a victim of DV, and everyone knew that she was referring to Johnny. Considering Johnny's career went downhill from there, he finally decided to sue Amber for $50 million for damaging his reputation. And this is the reason they're going against each other right now. Amber is trying to prove that everything she said was true, and Johnny just wants to show the world that he has never laid a hand on Amber, and that he in fact was the victim of Amber. There have been many accusations, truths, lies, and many witnesses to back up both of their stories. We've had Amber's own sister, Whitney, testify along with Amber's former assistant, a few psychologists, Johnny's friends, and even Kate Moss herself. It's safe to say it's been pretty interesting, sometimes even a little funny. Who knew lawyers could get the whole audience cracking up. Well, Amber's lawyers sure did. Hearing the word objection during this trial has become a routine. We've seen these lawyers object to different testimonies given by the witnesses, but Amber's team took it a step too far. Who would have thought that one of her lawyers would actually object to their own question? Her lawyer, Benjamin Rottenborn, was asking Ben King questions about a fight that happened between Johnny and Amber that resulted in Johnny losing one of his fingers. But the lawyer interrupted him with, objection, hearsay. The whole room was confused, including the judge. You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me he sustained an injury on one of his well, fingers. Well, uh, objection, Here's, hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Okay. The video shows how everyone was snickering or even laughing at what just happened, even Johnny Depp himself. This same lawyer seems to have a thing for interrupting his witnesses and calling for an objection. He did the exact same thing when Johnny was on the stand himself. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Rottenborn cut Johnny off mid-sentence. What, he, he was... Your Honor, hearsay? I haven't finished my sentence, how do you know? I'll always wait for the moment. Here are the many other times Amber's lawyers didn't let Johnny even finish his sentences before shouting an objection. I spoke to a objection, hearsay, your honor, told them, objection, your honor, hearsay. Mr. Depp. I spoke to uh, objection, hearsay, your honor. Told them that. Objection, your honor, hearsay. I still remember her saying that I took a handful. Objection beyond the scope. I objection, your honor. We have heard say, we right. several Johnny was asked by his lawyer how Amber's restraining order affected him, to which he said it changed everything. Of course, Amber's lawyer jumped right in. How did Ms. Hurd's actions on May 27th, 2016 affect you? Changed everything. Objection, Your Honor. Relevant. Oh, it didn't change everything? This lawsuit. Right. <laughs> Amber Heard's lawyer just said objection hearsay legitimately at least four times in the last six to seven minutes. And each time the judge let out a small sigh and said overruled. Once she even said, I'll just overrule at this point. Like even she's tired now. One of Amber's main pieces of evidence is the bruises that she got from Johnny during their marriage. Or rather, fake bruises, as everyone else thinks. If Amber Heard is so skilled with makeup as her lawyer asserts, it fits that she's skilled at painting on fake bruises, lol. Hashtag justice for Johnny Depp. Obviously, her lawyers tried to use this evidence against Johnny as soon as the trial started. Her lawyer Elaine Breedhoff showed a particular makeup kit that she claims Amber used to cover up her alleged marks. This is what Amber carried in her purse for the entire relationship with Johnny Depp. She's an actor. Do you honestly think she would have left her apartment ever without makeup? Do you think that she ever would have wanted other people to see her bruises and her cuts? This 
was what she used. She became very adept at it. And you're going to hear the testimony from Amber. No one thought more of it until Milani decided to expose Amber and her team on TikTok. They posted a video saying there was no way Amber could have used that makeup kit because it simply wasn't released at that time. Amber and Johnny got divorced in 2016, whereas this product was released in 2017. It seems that her lawyers aren't that great at doing research to support their lies, since they miss such a basic fact. Sometimes it seemed that even the judge had had enough of Amber's lawyer's mistakes, especially Elaine's. During their closing statements, Elaine was rambling and it seemed that Judge Penny couldn't take it anymore, so she summoned her to the bench to scold her a little. Insiders revealed that she gave her a few warnings about making inflammatory yet unsubstantiated statements. This is when she was interrupted and left for almost one whole minute before she returned and continued with her statements. She was talking about the police officers that went to Johnny's apartment after an alleged fight between the couple. But Elaine was insulting the officers, saying they weren't experienced. And of course, the judge couldn't stand that. Elaine had the judge make her clarify statements because she's rambling like a nut. Glad she's undoing any point Rottenborn may have made to the jury. This isn't the only time she's had trouble with the judge. Elaine even doubted Judge Penny's math abilities at one point, but the judge was quick to show her her place. The plaintiff has 26 hours and nine minutes left and the defendant has 24 hours and 44 minutes left. Okay, anybody have anything else for me? Yes, sir. Just a math question. Yeah. I'm thinking we have 25, 24, Sammy says 24. They have 35, 06, and If you add 36 hours and 31 minutes and 24 hours and 44 minutes, you get... What? Well, we'll get. We'll see if we can get with Sammy when we're done. Okay. It's. Is it right or wrong? What's that? Sixty-one. Sixty-one hours and fifteen minutes. Does that add up then? In the same way she treats the judge and her fellow lawyers, she also treats the witnesses. Elaine doesn't really hold back with the insults. An ex-TMZ reporter Morgan Tremaine was a witness during the final week of the trial, and Elaine was really pushing his limits with the questions. After questioning him, she started accusing Morgan that the only reason he was speaking out was to earn a little fame, to which Johnny's lawyer calls an objection. Okay, you know this, you know this case is being televised, right? I, I am aware that there are cameras. And so this gets you your 15 minutes of fame, doesn't Objection, it? Objection, Your Honor. Argumentative. I, I can ask that question. Oh, ruled. But Morgan's reply has trended worldwide, and everyone is praising him for what he said. So I stand to gain nothing from this. I'm actually putting myself kind of in the target of TMZ, a very litigious uh, organization, and I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. Though so you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. A little argumentative, don't you think? Oh, hardly. I find that to be purely logical. Morgan Tremaine just owned Elaine Breedhoft. Amber's lawyers couldn't stop making the whole audience laugh and embarrass their own client. Remember when Johnny was asked what it would take for him to go back to working with Disney? Mr. Depp, if Disney came to you with $300 million and a million alpacas, nothing on this earth would get you to go back and work with Disney on a Pirates of the Caribbean film. Correct. That is true, Mr. Rottenborn. Well, it seems that Elaine took the alpacas part a little too seriously. This is what she asked a Disney exec that was a witness on the trial. Is Disney aware that Mr. Depp has testified under oath that he would not take another Pirates of the Caribbean franchise role for $300 million and a million alpacas? No. Would Disney entertain paying Mr. Depp more than $300 million and provide him with more than a million alpacas to be able to obtain his uh, services for any future Pirates to the Caribbean role? No. At this point, Johnny himself and the whole court were uncontrollably laughing. Amber must have been pretty embarrassed at this point. Of course, everyone was tweeting about it immediately. At this point, I'm convinced Elaine really believes that Disney has a farm of alpacas. It seems that all this hate from the public and having Amber as her client really got to Elaine's head. This is her first case with such famous celebrities, and it was maybe more than she could handle. 
especially since she has to do a lot of lying. This is why we don't really blame Amber's lawyers for their mistakes, since after all, they have to do double the work to present Amber as innocent. But all of these moments will be following her lawyers for the rest of their careers. They probably regret being Team Amber at this point. Too late to back out now. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check this next one out. Oh!